Students returning to Bayview High School in Upper Ten Talon for the fall semester were greeted by a new feature brightening up its lobby, an impressive mural by Millbrook First Nation artist Alan Silliboy, displaying a variety of aspects of Mi'kmaq life and culture. Silliboy, whose work has been seen across the country, says students need to become better acquainted with Mi'kmaq contributions to life in Nova Scotia. Artwork like his is a doorway to learning more about his community. Oh, we've been doing this to change the education system or add to it, you know, uh, to bring, um, uh, you know, something that wasn't there before. When I, when I was a child, of course, there were no, um, any mention of Mi'kmaq or in anything positive. It was, it was negative, if any. And this has changed that. Angela Faulkner is Bayview's Indigenous Student Support Staff member, and she says the mural goes a long way toward making her students feel welcome and connected with the school. I know from conversations with my Indigenous students, when they walk into the building and they see this mural every day, which is very colourful, uh, there's a lot going on, it's very positive, fun, whimsical, and I love how Alan incorporates the, the ocean and the land, which is all connected. And when students tell me it gives them pride to see culture brought into their school, that's what makes it so special. Indigenous students Joshua Gugu and Caitlin Bootlier echo their teacher's sentiments, saying that seeing Silliboy's artwork every day gives them a sense of belonging and a sense of home that makes their school unique. It reminds me a lot of when I go to my grandmother's house. She always has artwork, even by him up there. So it just kind of like, it brings that sense of like where I'm from, kind of here. And it just kind of like, like I said again, brings me home. I was really happy that we got something Indigenous in the school like displayed publicly like that because usually the stuff is like one day or you have to go to Angela's room and you see all the stuff but it's really nice to have it displayed out in the hallway and it's like the first thing you see when you walk in. The installation of Silliboy's artwork follows the name change at Bayview which was formerly named after Canadian Prime Minister Sir John A. Macdonald whose anti-Indigenous and anti-Métis policies led to the creation of the residential school system. He feels the installation of his thought-provoking artwork is an important step toward understanding and healing. It's a correction. It, it, it needed to be there and uh, so yeah it's like you've changed the mindset and uh, the younger younger age you're they're more aware of who we are and and, and it's just something that uh, it's going to make for a better future if we're all aware of each other in upper ten talon i'm stephen cook for the saltwire network